If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. A QuickBooks statement prints information already recorded by statement charges and other receivables transactions. Therefore, you can't edit the statement's information directly within the statement window. A typical statement covers a time period and shows the customer's previous balance, new charges, payments or credits you've received and applied to the account, and the new balance for the customer during the period specified. A statement can simply show information like invoices sent to and payments received from a customer over a time period, or they can be used for billing, showing statement charges due and requesting payment of those charges. To create statements, select Customers, Create Statements from the menu bar to view the Create Statements window. In the Create Statements window, you can decide what type of statement you will be creating by setting the desired parameters. First, enter the statement date by using the Statement Date Calendar Selector. This date will appear at the top of each statement and also appear as the Build Date for billing statements. Next, decide what type of statement to send. The statement can either show transactions from one date to another or show all open transactions as of the statement date entered. To create a statement that shows all transactions over a specified date range, select the Statement Period From option and then select the first date from the adjacent calendar date selector. Then choose the ending date for the transactions by selecting the ending date from the To Calendar Date selector. To show all open transactions instead, choose the All Open Transactions as of Statement Date option. If you select that option, you can check the Include Only Transactions Over Blank Days Past Due Date checkbox and then enter the number of days into the adjacent field to create a statement that shows only past due charges if desired. Next, select the customers to whom you want to send the statements by choosing one of the available option buttons and then making any additional selections as needed within the Select Customers section. After that, you can set any additional options you would like the statements to possess by checking the desired checkboxes available in the Select Additional Options section. Also note that you can use the Template dropdown to select a custom statement template if available. To assess finance charges, click the Assess Finance Charges button within the Create Statements window to open the Assess Finance Charges window. Here you will assess finance charges on any customers and customer jobs that are marked with a check mark. You can remove the check marks from checkboxes of customers and customer jobs to whom you do not want to assess a finance charge. The finance charges are shown in the rightmost column. They are calculated based on the default finance charge settings you created within the Preferences window. You can change the amount shown by typing the desired amount to charge into this column if needed. When you are ready to assess the finance charges shown, click the Assess Charges button to assess the charges and return to the Create Statements window again. Then click either the Preview, Print, or Email buttons to preview, print, or email the statements to your customers. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.